okay? Okay. Hi, my name is Tori. Uh, and hi, my name's Emerson. And this is our CSL presentation. Uh, the CSL placement we chose was CJSR Radio. Um, they are Edmonton's only independent and volunteer powered community radio station. Uh, the tagline on their website says to enlighten and entertain our audience through high quality and diverse programming that constantly challenges the status quo and type or end quote. They broadcast in eight different languages and offer various types of programming, such as music, news, and documentaries. Uh, that's us. They strive to create a wide array of content to appeal and engage with a diverse audience. And CJSR is nationally recognized for their community involvement, amongst other things. All right, so for the project, we were to create a radio documentary about the ways in which vulnerable Edmontonians, such as the houseless community, are coping with food insecurity during COVID-19. The first organization we are collaborating with is the Leftovers Foundation. They have a few different programs uh, run by volunteers to help reduce food waste and increase food security. Um, some of their programs include upcycling, home harvesting, and food rescue programs. For the purpose of this um, project, we chose to focus on the food rescue program, which works with local shops, um, like coffee shops and bakeries, uh, farmers markets, and grocery stores to uh, allocate food that would otherwise be thrown out um, into organizations that need it, like the food bank. Another notable Edmonton-based organization in regards to food insecurity is the uh, Boyle Street Community Services. If you've ever been driving around uh, downtown, you may have noticed like a consistently long line of people around 105th Ave. Uh, that is Boyle Street Community Services doing. They provide uh, food and clothing to those in need on a volunteer run and donation run like basis. So the process for our um, project so far has consisted of training sessions to help us understand what radio really is and how it impacts the community around us, um, as well as how to create contacts, conduct interviews, and use programs that will help us actually construct the documentary. Uh, we've had regular check-ins with our CSL coordinator to keep us on track and answer any questions. and. This process is still taking place as we just finished up our second training session, um, which was all about editing, production, composition, and storylines. Uh, we connected with local organizations to discuss and interview them about ways in which they're helping people cope with food insecurity in Edmonton. Both sources offered unique perspectives and helped contextualize the issue. Although we've talked about food insecurity a bunch, what really is it? Well, food insecurity is the ability to access food. And this includes factors like affordability and uh, nutrition. Thus, food insecurity is the opposite. There are many factors as to why uh, people or groups of people might be food insecure. An example that we've learned in class could be like the food deserts in Nunavut. Food insecurity is more likely to affect communities of like lower income, those with limitations to transportation, and those with like a lack of education. And there are, there are plenty of other socioeconomic barriers, such as like a race or citizenship. Um, so food insecurity is something that Emerson and I fortunately have not had to experience ourselves. Um, so learning about it through the production of our documentary has helped us understand it a little bit better. Um, and we are learning about the ways that people are actually um, affected by it, how they cope and what resources or lack of resources they have access to. And that's the end. <laughs>